Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're smoking fish. Y'all stay tuned. Here are our candidates. We have three uh, small bluefish and small bass, Spanish mackerel. I'm going to show you how to get them ready for smoking. Now, with these small guys, um, I like to butterfly them. So, basically all we're going to do here is uh, just take his head off with uh, most of his guts back, <coughs> back at an angle like that. Go ahead and open his belly up. Take that... Uh, remaining innards out of them. Scrape all that out and then there's a another little pouch here on the mostly saltwater fish that you can open up. Scrape out the, uh, the red in there. Basically like you were going to do if you were going to cook a pole. And what we do is just grab right down the side of that rib cage with our fillet knife. Uh, coming from the from the head end. And we're not cutting all the way through the back. Now we're just going to follow the backbone right down without cutting totally through the back. And that way we can just open him up right down to his skin on the back. Just like that. And then we can clean the rest of this up. But that's uh, basically how you do it on a bluefish. Let's wash that and leave all the scales and all the skin on this side. Let me try this Spanish mackerel. Not a lot of meat on him, but he'll be tasty, smoked. Open him up there. Do the same thing with him, we'll get all this guts out. And right beside that backbone started right behind the rib cage going through the ribs and then just open them up stay it on this side of the rib cage or the uh, backbone stay right on the backbone and just basically butterflying them but not cutting through that back careful not to cut through the skin on the back so it'll all hold together in one piece of lay flat just like that We'll finish the other two and then we'll get them ready to uh, brine them and show you the rest of the steps. Well, this is how they look when they're all nice, clean, and washed and butterfly. So they're ready to go on to be brined and seasoned. We'll do that next. Right, what we did here is we just uh, sprinkled the flesh side of all four of our fish with uh, our favorite rub, barbecue rub, and a little extra salt. To help cure them off. That was about 30 minutes ago. You can see that it's bringing up a lot of the moisture on them already. They're looking really good. I'm going to give them another maybe 20 minutes and then we're going to rinse them off and re-season them with our favorite seasoning, Seminole Swamp seasoning, and we'll get them on a smoker. All right, we have our big new smoker fired up. Finally got it out here in the backyard. Um, stuck a basic thermometer in it right now and it's running just below 250 we got a little apple wood going in it so preheating that while these fish are curing off the rest of the way all right we took those in and uh, rinsed them off in cold water patted them dry now we're going to use our uh, favorite seasoning Seminole Swamp there's plenty of other good ones I've gotten stuck on this one lately I don't know if it's made by a Seminole or in a swamp, but it's good stuff on just about anything you want to put it on. Uh, it's not spicy, which is uh, fine for my wife. She doesn't like spicy. And it's not too salty. Uh, some of the other ones, just way too salty. They, this one's a uh, perfect blend. Uh, you can buy this at Winn-Dixie stores in Florida. I'm not sure where else. Look it up. Uh, they don't pay me anything for um, pushing this product. It's made in Quincy, Florida. 
Uh, Seminole Swamp, I'm sure they got a website somewhere. Even the Seminole Indians have computers. Great stuff. You're ready to put them on. Okay, we're gonna break into the beach. It's 250. Pop the lid off here. First thing uh, you want to do, anytime you're smoking fish, spray that rack really good with spray. And this one's not working, so we're gonna have to go to the uh, paper towel and brush deal. So let's go get that. Okay, you don't have spray, so we have spray, but it don't want to come out. So it's just olive oil and paper towel. And it'll wipe those racks really good. If you do not do this, the uh, skin will stick to these racks. And when you go to take it off, it's not as pretty. Still plenty of them, but you want that skin to stay on. So, even though we're eventually going to pull it off, but this oil is down really good with your uh, oil and paper towel, and you won't have that trouble. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and grab our fish. This is why this 22 inch grill uh, really well works well because you got plenty of room. Um, you could do this on the Weber Smoky Mountain 22 or even the 14 for this amount of fish. So, just going to kind of arrange them in there with space between them. You see why you need to really need a 22 inch grill to get your space in between them all. So, there they go. That's be their home for about the next uh, three, four hours. Come on, check on them in a little while. Back goes the lid. We got a beautiful blue smoke coming off of this right now. That's what you want. Um, real easy to over smoke fish. So only about one chunk of wood at a time on your charcoal down there. Um, I started it out with three or four and it was really white and not really what I was looking for so I took them out and just put a couple in there at a time so don't try to put too much wood to them and we're using apple. You might be asking uh, what kind of fish can we smoke? Can we smoke just anything? I would say you probably could smoke just about anything but certain fish are better than others. On the freshwater side, salmon, that's going to be your number one. You know, that's available everywhere. You can cold smoke it, you can hot smoke it. I love it hot smoke and uh, cured, uh, really great. Number two would be uh, trout, a freshwater trout, uh, rainbow trout, things like that. Uh, awesome on a smoker. Uh, number three is going to be one of the probably most of you don't think about is eels. Eels are still a delicacy all over Europe. Uh, people go crazy for them, even in some parts of Asia, they still go crazy for eels. Uh, if you catch a big freshwater eel. Um, think about uh, looking up on YouTube how to smoke them. I did and I tried it. It was awesome. All right. On the saltwater side, like we have a lot of fish here in Florida, probably my number one, that's going to be the wahoo. Wahoo are a big, large pelagic, pelagic fish caught offshore trolling with huge snappers on him. Okay. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fish and awesome on a smoker. Number two is going to be the lowly mullet. Most people just think of mullet as a bait fish. Where I grew up on the St. John's River in North Florida, they're considered food. Awesome fish on a smoker. Number three, for me anyway, is coming in as the king mackerel. Uh, kingfish, uh, commonly called a kingfish. King mackerel on a smoker just like we're doing here. Uh, obviously you won't leave, be able to leave a bone on him because he's a pretty big fish but you could stake that thing up leave the scales and skin on smoke them or even stake them and smoke them really really good uh, number four for us probably would be the, his smaller cousin the Spanish mackerel which we're doing here today um, really really great uh, sometimes hard to catch they got a mouth on them like a pair of scissors really have to have wire leader to catch them but you catch them in huge schools and sometimes you can just load up on them. Uh, last but not least, the bluefish, which we also have here today, which are sometimes very, very plentiful um, 
you can catch them in a surf, you can catch them around the inlets, sometimes up even up uh, up in you know inshore areas. Uh, they travel in big schools. They're they're really good uh, smoked also. And then there's a few fish that a lot of people don't even think about, and one of them is the jack creval. Most people love them uh, to fight them, but they just toss them back. Uh, if you can catch you know a nice uh, four to five pound jack creval, just you know fillet the sides off of that guy, cut some of the red meat out of him, throw them on a smoker, you would be very very surprised at how good that fish is smoked. And I'm sure there are dozens of other fish that are great on a smoker too. If you've tried one that I haven't mentioned here, leave us a comment down there. Maybe we'll try to get one and see if uh, if we can make it out, uh, make it make it a great a great fish that normally something that you wouldn't think about smoked. So leave us a comment. We'll get after it. Okay, well here's our smoked fish. Um, you know, it's gotten nice and dry. And we kind of want it that way. We want that most of the oil to come out of there. Um, you can kind of do it to your taste. But we wanted it to be kind of dry. So you just kind of got to gauge it, feel it, look at it. But it looks awesome, smells awesome. So we'll uh, give it a try here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try right now. It's one of the bluefish. That's really good. Not over smoked. And not too salty. It's a great snack. All we've got to do is pull the skins, debone that a little bit. And um, it'd be awesome for hors d'oeuvre or just snacking. So, no garnish uh, needed for this dish. So, you guys, uh, we'll see you back here next time. Backwoods Gourmet. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and share.